<laughs> What's the height that you're looking for? Um, I'm only five flat, like five foot flat. So like it's, I, you don't need to be super tall. Like I like it's, it's not, it don't take a lot. But like, but like short, go with maybe. You're five, 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 five foot. foot. I don't care. I still like the height does something. For um, me. yeah, you, <laughs> you at least made it to where he, you can wear heels and y'all are the same height at that. Yeah. That's respectful. I could take that. Guys, chat. I know a lot of y'all in this bracket. What about you? What's the height that, that you're looking for? Um, I'm going to have to go with the short girls because I'm about 5'2". So okay. it really doesn't matter that like that much to me. But I feel like 5'6". Five, 5'6", six, five, six, five, the shortest. Yeah, I don't want to ever be like eye level. That would be... <laughs> yeah. Have That's either of y'all weird. ever dated a 5'6 guy? Yes. Okay. Actually, okay. Let yeah. me make a disclaimer. I don't really date, officially date people. But, you know, yeah. Situation ship, yeah, definitely. Sure. Oh, yeah. Street, street. <laughs> Entanglement. <laughs> what about you? What's the height you're looking for? Your preference? I don't really have a preference, not gonna lie. No for problem. women, because I'm bisexual, so for women, she could be shorter than me, she could be the same height. Like, I'm more of a like personality kind of person, literally. Okay, it does not matter. How many are bisexual at the table? Just y'all two. Anybody else? Are you also? Yeah. I'm kind of gay. Kind of gay. Yeah. <laughs> no, are you gay? Are, are you Mala, you at all? No, that's the, okay. That's the Dude. thing. Like, I love, I love women. I love women in general. I love their bodies. Like, I love women, but like, don't put a coochie near me. You about you? <laughs> don't put a coochie near me. Not about that lot, guys. I'm it's not. okay. Strictly, strictly, strictly dickly. Yeah. I love women. All right. Well, now I want to know uh, what's the income? What's the income for this perfect guy? This guy that y'all would, uh, you know, drop everything for. Uh, we'll start on your end this time. What's the number you want? Fifty k, seventy k, hundred k? That's. I don't have a number. I just want to date someone who's on the same level as me. Okay. Don't want it to sound bad, but like. Yeah. So so like probably like if you're making fifty k, he needs to make at least fifty k type of thing. Or more. Equal kind of thing. Yeah. Would you want an equal relationship? I, I would definitely want an equal relationship. Like, I don't like for someone to make more money than me because they always feel like they just got one up on you. Like they like they have some kind of power from yeah, it? Yeah, and that's no kind of power. Have you been in a relationship, a relationship like that? I have not. Oh, uh, okay. So, so. Why, why do you fear that if you've never been in it? Because I feel like it's easy to come by nowadays. nowadays. Homegirls experience that type of sh- stuff. So you just hear like their trauma and you're like, I'm not going to let a guy have that much power over me type of shit? Exactly. Like oh. there's some stuff I'll put up with, but that, Okay. Nah. No, I was just curious. I got to peel the layers back sometimes. What about you? Um, what uh, what income are you looking for? 50K, 70, 100? Does it matter? Um, we kind of all have the same brain, I feel like. Because, um, <laughs> like, I don't really care about a certain number either, but I would like it to be at least equal, if not more. than. What if I not am. more? Yeah. Because yeah. I don't want to ever, like, potentially have to, like, take care of somebody. Okay. And that way, you know what I mean? I mean, like, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'll bring up some at the end for you to, for you to understand. Go ahead. What do you think? Definitely, definitely, okay, like the lowest because you know, like they have to have some type of emotion. You know what I mean? Like I can't, can't know, be no bum. They, no, you can't. Yeah, like, you, you have not... to have some hustle in you. I understand, like some shit, like it's a, it's like a process and shit don't happen quick. But as long as you have a plan and shit like that, like, but no, I don't think I the can drive, do as yeah. we I've, always say on I've the show. I've gone fifty fifty with people before, and I'm just like, I don't, I don't think I want to do it. How long did it last? Both times, like. Less than a year. Yep, I knew Less that. Less than a year. What about you? What's the income you're looking for? I, I will have to agree with. with you can talk a little closer if you can. I will have to have to agree with the ladies. Um, that's book first. Book first. I don't really have a preference. Just just as long as we on the same level. He got to have that drive, right? Got yeah, because I hear it all the time. Drive. We hear it all the time. No, so it's the drive, it's, right? It's just like I I know what I bring to the table. So why would I not have someone who matches? what i bring to the table yeah yeah you want so. you need to have a match what about you income matter at this point in my life if i'm being honest yes it does yeah it, it, it fucking matters and um, for the the woman or the man yes it doesn't it matter does. yeah. it, it does matter i'm not gonna sit here and flex like i'm not the richest person in the world but i know what i know what my base income for the year is is and then oh dancing and, and all shit that i end up doing on the side know that racks up to at least 40 to 50 a year so i need you to either have that drive where you're filling in that gap mm-hmm. if it's not all from one job where you're getting that money yes you need to be out doing something to get that because if i wake up one day and i'm just like i just want to hit the road let's go you want to be able to do that Hell yeah, yeah and if you're sitting there looking at me like eh, I don't know. I was just like, listen, I ain't got time for that. Because guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to get go dressed. Go by myself. I'm going to drive, and I'm going to get cute, and I'm going to go sit at the bar. And guess what? I'm about to have the time of my, my motherfucking oh, So, 
and he said, you need to either be with me at least, at least. And that cushion is if you have a little bit more. So what if we're talking like average, what what is the average y'all said? 40? Like 48 or I mean, 38K, I think is average. Or okay, 40K. so yeah, if you're not making that and then doing something on the side to, to eat a little bit more, I was like, no, we're not. We're not doing that. Okay. No, I mean, well, now y'all are saying crazy numbers. Can I ask a quick question to all the ladies here? Yeah. H- have you ever sat like when you've dated a guy? Right, let's say you've officially become boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Right? Have you ever actually just sat down and asked him how much do you earn? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I haven't. Quick, even like, yes or no? Either. Right. So it was no. A, no. 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 Not necessarily. No. No. Out. No. Not out. No. No. So how the hell do you even know how much he's making? I feel like you get an idea, a far-fetched <laughs> idea when you know what they when do you're for dating. I was just yeah. about to say, yeah. yeah, as long as you know their occupation or what they do. You're going to Google it and basis. be like, what is the average got this this I mean, employee? I feel like, like it can't be that hard to math it. Are you an accountant? <laughs> I love that update. You can tell by what they do, what kind of car they drive, yeah. where they live, where they take you out to, like oh, the places. Okay, this is really good. Is everyone listening to this? Like, like, pay attention to things you just said. It's all lifestyle stuff. No, yes. no and none of this, yes. is, this is not tax receipts. Receipts. Yes. This is like this I is go. Not a four, I go. Not a four one. Not a four one k. It's like I go to this place. We do these things. We have these experiences. He has this right? car. This is this the, that's the. Yeah. It's the. Li- it's the lifestyle mm. you're actually looking for. That they can afford. No, Being, I'm not that like, they can afford you. Yes, because they had like. That's how you know how much money they have. The things that they can afford. The disposable income they have. Mm. You the gotta understand. I buy things I can't afford though, so I don't. The key word disposable, which you just said. Yeah, because yeah. it means he's got, he's got excess. He's got mm-hmm. more than enough. So he can take care of himself, and he can do all this stuff for you, too. Mm-hmm. Okay, but the life that we live in right now, that's like, you still have to be wary with that, because we have a lot of people, or like, and even women nowadays, where they, they just want to fix. Ah, they don't yeah. really yeah. Actually, actually have disposable mm-hmm. income, or it's not actually, actually there. I'm very glad you brought that up. Mm-hmm. flexing. Oh, yeah. So for me, and I think... For anybody that's been in the dancing industry and then even bottle service and working around men and having to have a position where you have to talk to men when they're kind of messed up and stuff like that, you start to pick up on the even more subtle things. Okay. And I was like working in the strip club, you learn that American Express card, the metal cards. Ah. The metal cards come out, the oh, ones that be looking yeah. like dads, Maybe the ones that you don't want to talk to. It's over. Them Those are the ones you should be talking Those are the ones to. Ones to. <laughs> okay, so but this but this is the woman you have to be at. I was like, now if you now if you just yeah, like I want somebody that makes this much, you're like you you don't even know what you're looking for. You'll get finessed. Like the, the the thing is, a guy can any guy can wear Gucci or Louis, and then you're gonna be like, okay, he's a high value man. No, he's not. He was just winning. If anything, he could be more in debt than the other guy. It could be bootleg. That's the problem. Like and, and, and there's <laughs> tons hard. there's tons of guys that get a car that's a thousand dollar car note every month, and they still live with their parents or something, and they can still get pussy with it. Like they're very yes. like there's a lot of guys that do that shit, and I make fun of all of them. <laughs> it's all very true. goofy. Some that of the true. people that I met that I've had the most money, they've been like on their Adam Sandler shit. Like, like they don't really wow. Like, like, they have it, but like, but like they don't know it. So yeah. that's, the ones that look yes, homeless, the homeless. The but that that yes. Yes. yes, yeah, those yes, are the, the Here, dads. I want to, I want to read these super chats so we can keep up with them tonight. Uh, let's go ahead with the first one. Uh, one dollar from Michael Mitro. Thank you so much, bro. Number one mod, mod on YouTube. Thank you for making a hill some pennies on us. I appreciate you with your dollar, bro. <laughs> I love I love your dollars every time. Zora's lost. Thank you with the five again, man. Thank you for always pulling up. It was funny how they fixed themselves and got excited when they learned that Cooper is packing. <laughs> they stay telling on themselves. They didn't like. No one said I was packing. No one said I was packing. What are you smoking? I want some. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Here's me sitting. Here's me sitting trying to be humble. <laughs> yeah, you can't be humble at this table. At this table, we got too many active people uh fifty dollars from zentience thank you so much dude i I haven't had a fifty dollars in a while thank you man so many women respond with i don't care what they make of course they care they want the man to come in and take care of it all without them reciprocating while having a lifestyle expectation that answer lacks critical thinking first of all well not really (laughs) (laughs) yeah go ahead what okay so that brings me back to um when i said like i don't want to end up taking care of somebody else Mm-hmm. Um, but I didn't mean it like like that. But I'm saying like if you're not at the same the same financial as me or motivational level or standard standard living at all, how are you gonna you gonna carry your weight at the same time I'm carrying all this weight? I feel like eventually I would have to start taking care of them. Okay. You know what I mean? Because I'm just like do you doing want... more, making more. I don't want no. And one I just don't want to ever so end. What up. are you bringing to the table? Like what? 
I never like, said I want to be taken care of, but uh, for him you to know. say that. Like for you, him, do you want the woman or the man? Okay. I wouldn't mind it. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> actually, uh, this guy actually is well known in the RP space. He actually does uh, tune in for a lot of RP content. So shout out to you. Awesome. If I'm correct, he is a doctor too. Mm. So, oh, yeah, he is. Like, yeah, yeah from how he is. Uh, but uh, but the uh, thing is that I, I want to point out that that um, y'all 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 might not like really think that money is a big deal, but uh. How many of y'all have dated a guy where y'all were the breadwinner? Y'all were taking care of the guy. I want to. I want to know how many of y'all have actually done that before, <laughs> Ew, though. Never. Like have actually you? gave him a title. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like give him the title and yeah. you take care of them. Have you done that before? Oh wait, me take care of somebody. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah take no, care no, of a no, guy. No. I did it before I started dancing, so did, I had no yeah boundaries. Yeah. And have you done it? <laughs> I have. It was fifty fifty, and then another one. Like I was, I earned more than him, so it was a little bit. You know what I mean? Okay, uh, but but how long did it last? That one didn't last a year either. Okay, okay. <laughs> have you taken care of a guy before? Negative. Okay, have you? <laughs> so, so, so the thing is, men, we don't really care at all about taking care of women because it's very natural for us. So, like, uh, what, what he's saying is very, 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 very true. Like, extremely true. Uh, the women really do expect men to take care of them and provide a certain kind of lifestyle. And um, nine times out of 10, the woman isn't providing that much in return. It just depends. Don't get me wrong. Some women do provide. I think if you're in a relationship, it's because... Uh, I watched a really good video the other day that was about this. Um, if you want to get married or you want to be in a relationship, you have to constantly be in the mindset of giving, of all, always being. Like, I can't express to you how much I'm always going, always going to my girl. What do you need? What You want this? What do you want? You want, want, you want this? Like, like, always trying to put, if anything, if anything for towards it. And what does she do in return? She does the same thing for me. She does like, like she'll do anything. She's always asking, like, she sees I'm in a bad mood. She's like, can I cook you something? Do you want anything? You know, like. We're always doing extra effort to make the other person happy, you know. But I think what he's saying is that sometimes it's the guy doing a lot of shit. And sometimes the women don't have to put up a lot, which is understandable. Because think about it, ladies. How many guys are hitting y'all up on a daily basis? Like, y'all don't really. It's not like a guy who's a beta, like a guy that can't get a lot of girls who he's having to chase all these girls. And he might get pussy once every six months. Y'all kind of have kind of have all the all the time. So why would you need would you need to receive anything? You don't because there's another there's another author that's not ever gonna require out of you. Of you. That's the reason why sometimes a man is giving a lot and sometimes a woman isn't giving really anything. It really just depends on the person. I'm not gonna point fingers say any of y'all are like that, but some people are. Um, we got another super chat actually from uh, Zentients. Yeah. So shout out to you, bro. Yeah. Thank you so much for the fifty, bro. Um, Sterling, I would bet money that majority of modern women lack introspection, nor have they thought what it takes to attain that level of accomplishment money status there's salt uh i can't even say it Solip solipstic solipsistic and hedonistic lifestyle oh he's mm. assuming that's a new word i need to learn i know he know hedonistic well can because i use that Google word that every me? day right yeah, right yeah right. Kids, which please? word so the, the solip solipsistic you view the world only through your own unique perspective okay education. wow very so, uh, it, it, uh, like, selfish it, mindset it's not it's not entirely it means you're basically incapable of viewing the world through another person's very shoes. close okay mind. very not non-empathetic the, the opposite non of empathetic the, yeah, yeah. the opposite mm. of empathetic yeah okay and i always talk about hedonism like yes ladies please get out of the hedonism it's not going to work doesn't fix anything. Um, I mean, we're in a room with strippers right now, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, this was the wrong show for me to talk about right, hedonism. Dancer, dancer, having dancer. you on also. It don't yeah, matter. Yeah. It don't matter. It doesn't, I, I know it doesn't it's matter. A, it's, a, it's, a, it's a goddamn joke. <laughs> um, I want to know. Hmm. Because you, you're here. Uh, do y'all think that one person has the power to change the world? This is a weird question. This isn't normally what we'd ask on here. Do you think one man has the power to change the world? One person. Damn, I don't, I don't even know. Uh -huh. I can't say yes or no. I think one person could have the influence to, to change, change the, the world. world. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What about you? I definitely agree because, you know, money runs the world whether we like it or not. And, like, it, it really could change it. Like, if, who is it? Who is it? Is it, um... Is he on Musk? Elon I forgot Musk. who it is. Oh yeah, if somebody, somebody. <laughs> but they have so already. much money, like they can donate, donate, like like the smallest percentage of their money, and that would even solve like hunger, homelessness, all that shit. Like this, like that shit could really. I believe in it. Yeah, yeah. One person can definitely do it. What do you think, bro? Can one person change the world? Absolutely. It's it's evidently the fact. I mean, literally, like Elon Musk's a perfect example. Say, look at Andrew Tate. Man. Andrew Tate's another example of like literally having a massive impact on the zeitgeist. But hmm. there's there's numerous examples of dudes doing this. Yep. You know, like it's in, like changing the world in some way yes like, just way more making than, an impact yeah some kind of significant long-lasting impact which is way more than the average person could ever accomplish in their life 
you're gonna love her when i get to here go uh, what, what, what do you think think do you think one man can change the world oh yeah for sure for sure Thank you. yep of course. so i love the uh the uh this is gonna be talking about the story i love the story of this guy from siberia russia his name was um uh huh oh Gr 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 grigory rasputin was his name so this guy yeah you, do you know who grigory was so 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 uh this guy was uh, born in siberia russia he was a fucking bum he had a wife and uh he was cheating on his wife he had a big penis so he was the, the town he was the town whore and, uh, and and he fucked around. He got kicked out of town because he was fucking other people. This was the early 1900s when you shouldn't be doing this stuff. He goes on and, and uh, he joins like a sex cult that like they, they, they worship Jesus and they're very Christian, but they also, you know, have sex, have sex together, this type of shit. Okay. He becomes a leader of this sex, of this sex cult. Dick game is so strong. <laughs> From that point, he moves all the way up to the point where he is literally working with the Romanov family that is ruling the Russian, uh, like basically the Russian oligarchy that runs everything in Russia. This was back whenever, uh, where, where, was it called Russia then? Was it Mother Russia? I don't know what it was. <laughs> but like, so this guy is literally helping heal their son. This is the same family from Anastasia, if you remember the story yeah, from Anastasia. Say, it Anastasia is the same right story now? of Anastasia. It's the same story of Anastasia. And her son, or the, the son was very sick. He was there to heal his son. The husband was gone during, gone during World War II, who was leading the country, and he was run, running the wife a lot of what was going on in Russia, Russia during World War II. They end up losing the war, getting their ass kicked, a lot of ass kicked, a lot of bad things. And what ends up happening is the whole country falls because all the people who were watching everything going on were like, why are you letting this fucking guy run the country just because he got a big dick and your wife is in love with him or whatever the fuck? Oh like, God. why the hell is all this shit happening? And the whole country fell, and communism would not be where it is today if it wasn't for this man's penis fucking up all of russia okay communism at its point right now would have never grown to this point if it was not for him destroying that dynasty for that family but yeah he so just, one, he destroyed that puss pussy is what he did yeah but just so y'all know one man can change the fucking world the butterfly effect is an amazing amazing thing first he could completely change what we have today we have today 100 100 years ago and, and, and guess what? If y'all want to go see his penis in Russia, you can go see it in a museum right now. Yeah, right, it is yeah. still on display. That's, oh, penis, that's how guys. much he changed the world, guys. He <laughs> that changed they, the world that the, much. It's that, just his penis or is it like his whole body? No, his whole, no, just his dick. <laughs> how big is that? That's insane. I don't know, but I'm guessing oh, big. Yeah. I mean, you don't take over a country with your dick without being a good I was just thinking, like, size, you know, the older right? sculptures, like, always have the dick in it. I thought it was one of those. Oh, no. yeah, no, they always have the big <laughs> no, dicks. Yeah, no, that's just. immaculate. Strictly his dick. It must be immaculate. Cause what, ain't no way. Like, at, at this point, it can't be immaculate. <laughs> <laughs> it must be withered and embalmed. <laughs> so now I want to know, know what? Uh, do you uh, have you had sex on the first date? The second, not the first. Never on the first. Not the first. The second. Okay. Oh my god! I knew I shouldn't have been on here. I barely go on dates. <laughs> I barely go on dates. Oh my god! So you never had it on the first night? Um, first link up, yes. The street. First date, <laughs> I really walked right into this whole sound. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I have. I have. Yeah, I'll just say that. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? I definitely have. I've have. I've done it before. Got to the dates. City boys. City boys. Whatever, I'm guessing, guessing, Stir definitely done that. No, I'm a virgin. How dare you? <laughs> Every time, yeah. um, uh, have you had sex on the first date? Yes. Okay. Have you? Yes. Sterling, I want to know, what do you think about girls who sleep with you on the first date? Do you think that means they have more burning, genuine desire for you? Or do you think that that's not exactly true every time? If a woman sleeps with me on the first date, I think she's extremely intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> yeah, what are you all laughing at? <laughs> He's being, like, this is a fact. I'm, I'm being serious. That's a straight up fact. I'm like, okay, this woman is clearly an, a genius. She, she, she recognized like instantly that I'm I'm fucking <laughs> like this. I, this I want to have babies. Let's not waste any time. Let's just get out of this. I'm, yes, genius. smart woman. Very genius. smart woman. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ladies, I want to know, um, is uh, the, the guys that you have slept with on the first night, was there something special there? Do you think that you had more of a burning, genuine desire for that person? Or do you think that, you know, you've had more of a desire for a guy you've made wait three months, you know? I haven't done the first date, but the second date. Oh, yeah. For, since for you, just second date. Yeah. yeah um, it wasn't nothing different. Honestly, I was probably just horny. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. But so you don't see a difference between the two, you, th you think? Mm -mm. Okay. What about you? No, I've had some moments, some moments like it had to happen, like been, like right there. Yeah, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. 
Kind of, but, the, but were you horny bef- before you were hanging out with him? Or no. Was it, or was it him that made you horny? Yeah, it was him. Yeah, yeah. yeah he gave you that brain and desire, so I'd say. <laughs> what about you? Oh, let's see. I'll see, because, like, there's been some where, like, I like I slept with them before, like, it was even a week into whatever it was, and it's lasted.